Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Windows Control Panel, as we know it, is one of those legacy features that's been around in Windows for a very long time. And I actually cut my teeth um, learning how to tweak Windows and um, fix up Windows and so on, just adjusting settings in the Control Panel back in the day. And this is actually still a feature I do use on a day-to-day -day basis to some extent or the other. Now, the control panel, as you may well know, provides a centralized location to view and adjust settings and controls. And this can be done through a series of different applets, as we can see. And you can adjust various options ranging from system time and date to hardware settings, network configurations and more. And that's why I mentioned um, I used to use this a lot back in the day to tweak and adjust um, Windows. Now, according to Microsoft, um, it seems now that they are now intent to get rid of control panel in Windows. And for a long time now, as I've been mentioning on the channel, progressively and very slowly, Microsoft has been moving control panel settings and features over to the settings app. Um, more so in Windows 11 than Windows 10. And because of this now, it seems that this is now where Microsoft is heading. Because if we head over to an announcement over on Microsoft Support uh, recently, where Microsoft is talking about system configuration tools in Windows, and we head down to the Control Panel section, they say, yeah, the Control Panel is in the process of being deprecated in favor of the Settings app, which offers a more modern and streamlined experience. So that's an interesting statement. So very slowly over the last couple of years, Microsoft has been moving um, Control Panel features over to Settings. So this basically means now that Microsoft is set to deprecate um, Control Panel in favor of Settings, as they have mentioned. Now, from the statement, though, they don't give us much. Um, we don't know exactly when this will take place. They haven't given us a date and a time. We don't know if this is just going to be on Windows 11 or also on Windows 10. Because, as mentioned, they have been moving settings over in Windows 11 a lot more than in Windows 10. And personally, I would be quite sad to see the control panel leave us. Um, I still use it on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, maybe it's just habit, muscle memory, whatever, but I still use control panel. So I would be quite uh, sad to see control panel go. And I think Microsoft would have to really give this a lot of thought as to how they would migrate everything over eventually. Because obviously a lot of users still use control panel to some extent or the other. And also know from the comments on the channel that a lot of users use the settings app more so than the control panel. But uh, nonetheless, um, I'll keep my eye and my ear to the ground on this one. And if we just head back to that announcement, um, quickly from Microsoft, they do mention that while the control panel still exists for compatibility reasons and to provide access to some settings that have not yet migrated, you're encouraged to use these settings app whenever possible. So that statement also shows us that Microsoft will eventually move everything over to the settings so they want you to start using settings more so than the control panel to basically familiarize yourself with the settings app if you haven't done so already and uh, it'll be in interesting to know how they're actually going to do this if this is just going to be in one update if they're just going to continue for the next year or two slowly trickling the settings over i personally think they will uh, carry on moving some of these settings over slowly but surely and then i think they would give us a cutoff date almost like an end of support date and then they would roll out an update and that migration then would be complete but obviously that's just me guesstimating and um, if microsoft does give us any more solid evidence or anything more to go on obviously i'll keep you guys posted so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one